Because I, I know you're working places for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> You better work, bitch. Hey, hey. free Britney. Oh, sure. Britney. Wait, yeah, she's very free now. Good for her. Quite free. Mm. Have you ever had a um, a weird job? Yeah, I used to be a canvasser. Like you know the people when you're walking on the street, it's like, hey, what? Can I talk to you about? <laughs> That seems like something you would never do. Oh, no, I did it. Yeah, I did it for a couple years in college just to make money and stuff. And I would, like, show up on the street. like, hey, I'd love to talk to you about, like, I don't know, the rainforest. <laughs> or, like, children in, in different parts of the world. But the, the biggest check I ever got was from this black dude that I realized was just trying to get at me the whole time. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Dan, you were probably like, I'm, I'm really good. I working. felt so good. I was I like, I'm so this. smart. And he was just like, oh, so I can, get, can I get your number? And I was like, damn. I fully got fired from this job. This is one of those jobs that I don't put on the resume. Yeah, yeah, I have several of those. Right, can I take this off now? What is this? I liked it. Did you? No. Okay, fine. I had this job where I worked as a marketing person for this like staffing agency, but they only staffed nurses. Okay. Nurse I. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I didn't do anything. No. I was so depressed when I had that job. I literally came to work two hours late once, went into my boss's office and fully took a nap. And so that. when they were like, Jay, you know, we gotta, I was like, I, we saw you napping. I was fully asleep in, in the office as she's at her desk. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she walked in on me. You were sleeping at your boss's desk? I was, That's so crazy. she had a giant office. Her desk was here. She had a couch in there and I was I sleeping on the couch. It. How would you feel if you were your boss and you came in to the person you hired taking a nap? on your couch i mean i you know that that is affirmative action wasted right there i deserved it like i was the lazy black <laughs> in that in that establishment do you find yourself to be a hard worker too much so like that's why you saying that i was like oh man i feel like i overwork and have since i've been working because I'm so afraid of being seen as like the lazy black person, which uh -huh. is so bullshit because it's like, I should actually be the one that's chilling. Like out of everybody else, given how hard it was for me to get to the job in the first place. It's your turn. You're done. It's your turn. It is. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dang. Yeah. I feel like I always overwork. You know that. We talk about our, our jobs right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just think it's wild that like, I think it's wild that jobs expect you to be invested in the company. Jobs are low key like when your friends like, I don't like that person. And then like now you don't have to like them. That's what they expect, that kind of loyalty. And bitch, I, I, I don't give a shit. The tweet, I just saw this tweet that was like, it's so embarrassing to go to work because it's like everyone knows that you need money. <laughs> <laughs> This is so embarrassing. I'm showing up every day because I have day. to just pay this rent. Every yeah. HR person knows how much you make. And they probably, when you were like negotiating your salary or say if you even negotiate your salary, they are probably like, you dumbass nigga. Could have got way more money. But they, they obviously they can't say that they to can. you. Yeah, they they can't. They don't want to say that to you. We were, Wanda and I, we were just talking about HR and just like how HR is never on your side, but like they're, they're meant to feel like they're on your side. Yeah. Like it doesn't make any sense. I know that there's policies. I know that there's processes that require a level of certification. And I don't mean to um, belittle the, the job of HR, but HR feels a lot like just common sense. Like, I mean, yeah. Don't show up late to work. Okay. Yeah. Don't take a nap at work. Okay. <laughs> like, only work the hours you're supposed to. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't, don't call Lawrence the N word. Okay. <laughs> like, I feel like that's really obvious. Have you ever, like, what is your training like at work for like all things like um you know sexual I'm harassment? Mad you put it back. I, I did. You're <laughs> like, I liked it. I was like, fine. Fine. <laughs> I feel like I'm in middle school. Yeah. It's giving yeah. sweet pea bath and body works. Yes. Hi. 
<laughs> cucumber melon. It's giving maxi pad. No. Oh. <laughs> yes. I will keep it on. Have you had any like trainings of like sexual harassment or like uh, workplace, oh, of course. like all that stuff? Why are all sexual harassment videos made in 1981? Sexual harassment and you do not do it. Update them. They. <laughs> This could have been an email. Aww, this could have been an email. There's like a series. That's like a shout out to a series. Oh, uh, shout out to Evelyn. Yeah. Evelyn and Elise. Elise. Yeah, exactly. I just feel like somebody got hired to produce that video, hire these actors, just to communicate, keep your hands to yourself. Just to communicate, uh, you're married. <laughs> Relax. You know what I mean? It Someone just feels, says. I feel like we're, we're past it. But at the same time, it still happens. Nah, folks. People be touching butts. And yeah, stuff. I think that's okay. Yeah, it's not okay. I saw somewhere on Twitter that someone said bosses want all their employees to come back to work so they can start uh, having affairs again. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. You ever wanted to fuck any of your bosses? Can we the expand guy? this to like coworkers too? Like, have you ever fucked yeah. any of your coworkers? Coworkers, bosses. Have you had relations? Oh, have, have you ever you had, had a, a boozy like holiday party situation? Yeah. I haven't had anything steamy with a coworker, mainly because all the jobs I've had, none were my flavor, but mm. <laughs> um, your flavor. I had a boss, straight man, wore a lot of V-necks, an egregious amount of V-necks. Egregious. That deep and, V um, when it plunges to the navel. Those hats the, that had like the, Mm. Oh my God! Like the <laughs> little, the little paper boy, yeah, like, the paper boy. You wore those hats. Not paper boy. And I'm not saying. And deep V's. I'm not saying he was gay, because I don't think he is. What did he have? Did he wear Chelsea boots? I just feel he like didn't he wear, wear Chelsea. Chelsea okay, boots. he had the aesthetic of a black guy that only dates white women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get it? Very familiar. So yeah. like, Jordan mids and like you know just like sneakers that he bought in like another country that are like way cooler than the stuff that's here like okay yeah. girl okay yeah. but he just had a queer vibe to him mm -hmm. i don't know how to explain how to explain it he just it was had like probably a, the paperboy hat it had to have been the hat yeah. and the fact that i saw his titties through the week <laughs> every day now that's sexual harassment <laughs> that <made> away. <laughs> Yeah, you're tempting me at my dad. No, <laughs> <laughs> you are push up. Put them together. He said, no. <laughs> Period. I've been about talking. working places for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen. Um. Uh. No, I still trying to figure out the answer to the other question about like fucking on yeah. like coworkers and bosses and stuff. Not fucking on coworkers. <laughs> Maybe I gave it away. <laughs> I used to be surrounded by everybody that was hooking up, but tried my best to stay out of it, but always like kind of messy. It was like, oh, what happened last night? Mm -hmm. and I am In like- In the mix. Yes, yes. But not like trying to fuck on people. Does it count when I was on Real World? Those were coworkers. <laughs> also, you were on Real World. That was work. That was, I mean, it was technically like a, like a, a type of job. Rate. Yeah, mm -hmm. a type of job. Reality shows. Was it who we who we think it is? No, I'm, I'm, I didn't fucking know anybody. I just oh, was okay. like thinking about it. Yeah. Okay. Nah. While I still think about that, would you ever go on a reality show for work? I thought about auditioning for The Circle. Jaden really wants me to audition for The Circle. I feel like you'd be amazing. I don't you know. Would. I don't know if I win. I think I only want to go if I'm gonna win. You wouldn't do any, like, you'd have to win. Like, I would like, go I would. in as myself and, yeah. like, you know. Oh, you wouldn't create another. No. Uh, really? I don't know how to be anybody but me. Okay. No. I would absolutely be somebody else. Yeah. Would you really? Oh, yeah. Who? <gasps> Whose pictures would you use? Like, That's okay, well, wait, would you, question. like, make up a person? Like, be a catfish? Like, pick a random person? I would still photos? need photos and stuff of somebody, right? Yeah. Or would you choose someone that you know and then pretend to be them? Oh, my God. I think I would catfish as jazz, maybe. Jasmine? Yeah. Really? <laughs> That'd be so fun. Yeah. But would you be, well, you would have to Because she would win. I feel like she would win. Like she would be like everybody's best friend. But you would have to act like Jasmine. Yeah. Yeah. You... I'd, I'd have the best time. Yes. Really? Yes. yes. I'm here I for it. I would love that. Circle, put us be... on <laughs> this catfish and me. That'd be so fun. I'd have the best time. That'd be fun. Yeah. Do you like the circle? Have you watched it? I watched it. I only watched like the 
a bit of the first season, but I, I know it like was I like I like it. I just it's hard to keep up with shows. Mm -hmm. It really is. If you've ever recommended a show to me, I've never seen it. I've never watched it. I know, like, I'm like I'm gonna catch it. Not gonna watch it. I want to. Absolutely. Like when they're telling you, you're like, oh yeah, That's absolutely. Go. Yeah. I'm gonna yes. I'd love to. What, what tonight? Time? Where's the streaming? Yeah. HBO. Never gonna turn it on. I will never see that show. And the thing is, is that I'm gonna wait two years until the show has eight seasons and then I'm gonna start it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Period. After everybody's talked about it on Twitter, mm -hmm. after all the memes have come out and I've seen them and laughed at them and I know that they're gonna happen, that's when I'll start the show. Yeah. yeah. And then just watch bullshit randomly. Anyways, we're talking about work. I enjoy like workplace content, like The Office. Mom? Uh, my mother's coming. That's what she said. <clears throat> Nope. Yeah. That's my favorite show, Veep. Yeah, oh, I've never Parks seen and Rec. Veep. I've never seen Parks and Rec. All workplace, anything based at work. Yeah. Because work is wild when you think about it. Because mm -hmm. you have all these different people who all need money. Yeah. Who, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. It is. <laughs> all need, so money up and need money. Of varying ages, mm -hmm. varying races, hopefully. And we're just supposed to like work together. Like we like we don't know each other and like it's wild. And we all have different approaches to like what we think is disrespect, what mm -hmm. we think is like w like what we think is sexual harassment, like what we all like. There's just so everybody's just coming together and it's like okay, we're gonna do this, but there's not like yeah, we're all coming from different places. It's like work is is wild. Yeah, it is wild. I learned that I'm unprofessional. You were what? How are you? I'm a little unprofessional. I I got my shit together now, but like when I was, <laughs> how did you learn you were unprofessional? What happened? So we have these meetings where like you know in the we do are they in the bathroom? Yeah, <laughs> let me out. <laughs> We have these like meetings where we go over like company updates and like mm. the CEO like talks about the company. Da 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 da. Do you turn your camera on? I'm a camera on girl. Are you? I am. I was I was expecting the opposite. I do a soft serve too, oh. <laughs> in case anyone's <laughs> my pen. Oh, I'm thinking so hard. Are you looking at yourself the whole time? Dead ass. Of, yeah. of course, of course. What else? I'm gonna look at you. So they have these meetings. They go over company updates, and then there's a part of the meeting where they go over new hires because I work at a startup, and so they hire 50 people a day. It was like three pictures of these like three white men, and one of them one of the pictures was just very unlike the other pictures because you know they're just like regular like you know holding a fish like just mm -hmm. like whatever type of photos and then the one on the end i'm not gonna say his name let's call him brian okay brian had a little filter on the picture Did have he eyelashes? also was giving like you know like how models will like share like their model uh tips on uh TikTok of like how to suck in your cheeks and like <laughs> fully activated cheekbone fully activated and so in the chat because the whole company is like in oh the my chat, god what did you say i was like brian is serving with like seven g's of course and then brian messages in the chat he's like what are you talking about and i was like oh i'm gay y'all don't get it <laughs> and so i think to me it's like this is a good thing i'm building community yeah but y'all just think i'm ghetto and loud probably i would love that that would make me feel so comfortable right? i was like yay finally okay yeah. we don't have to pretend at yeah. this place uh, he said what <laughs> he was like what are you saying i me? don't <laughs> yeah no i keep my camera off i'm tired i feel that it's a lot like this is the third meeting the like 10th check-in question do you keep your camera off when other people have their cameras on I will feel pressure to put it on, but I'll do a quick like, hey, and then <laughs> out. <laughs> okay. I'm off. Yep, exactly. I just. That's confidence. Yeah. You don't give a fuck. I just, like, That's did you, for you. I want to get the work done and then out of the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have a lot of meetings? How do you feel about meetings in general? I don't mind meetings. No? Yeah, because I don't want to be the manager. Okay. So, because I don't need to speak. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to do the, okay, guys. I don't want to do that. So during meetings, I'm usually just like vibing with my on yeah. mute. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah, and you don't feel like you're like talking there all that stuff. I wait until I hear, "Hey Jade," and then I'm like, "What?" Mm -hmm. I tap in, <laughs> finish that. Okay, I'm tapping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, just like uh, on a need be basis. That's I want that, but with even 
no meet, meetings at all. Like we don't even have to meet. Like you can just know, like send me the things that you want me to do. I'm gonna get them to you, and we just never have to engage. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't really work for like nonprofits. I am the like annoying that. one though. That yeah. I'd rather have a meeting than do an email thing. Oh really? We don't need to make it a thing. Like you don't need to like. Oh, let me get so and so into no. We don't need to do all that. But I feel like it's just faster, easier. That is. That is fair, because I've, I've realized, like, the way that I want to work with folks, like, I want to, like, just do it over email and not have to talk and meet, but sometimes in that one meeting, I'm like, damn, that really solved all the problems in that, like, 10-minute conversation, versus, like, all of us going to do, like, all these different things. Yeah. Do you think you have a healthy relationship to work? What is healthy? Facts. What is, what is, uh... I think it's healthier than it used to be. But I'm definitely a like, if I can work to the to the brink at my full capacity, I'm going to. Okay. But that's only because I like nice things and I like being comfortable. And there's always there's always a good outcome when I do that. Fair. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Because it's like I'm I'm rewarded in in in, in the ways that, that make me feel good. Okay. When I work very hard, even yeah. past when I need to. Also, I feel like the right people notice it Mm. you know like i feel like y'all notice the work that we put into this stuff and sometimes we do more than we need to but y'all take notice of it so it almost like is okay i i'm glad that you pointed that out because i am realizing more and more now especially after we released the trailer like how much folks saw how hard we worked at super time Mm -hmm. like i like i feel appreciated like i feel so appreciated and like all of the videos and all the work that we put into the stuff that we do. I think that that is something that is so important to me. I want to feel appreciated. I just, I just always want to feel appreciated. That's the thing that's going to keep me coming back and like doing all these things and all this stuff. And so, yeah, just shout out to y'all for appreciating on us because it feels nice. Cause we work our asses off. Yeah, we really do. And we don't get the luxuries of uh, some of our uh, counterparts. Or, or, uh, yeah, those of, yes. Yes. So <laughs> it's almost like we have no choice but to be better, or not be better, but outperform or or um, work at a level that is maybe more strenuous than other people. And that's why I asked you about healthiness. Like, do you, like, I love to work. I do, because I love to get the things that come from working my ass off. I also think that I am expected to work my ass off because mm-hmm. I'm a black person, like because I'm a black queer trans person, like because I'm a like, I, like I am expected, and I and I feel like that is the thing that I, I want to release myself of, and like I want to release, like we all should be released of, is like being expected to work harder just because, like oh you've been through some shit, go work, like, you know, like, yeah. I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't know. No, I feel that. It's almost like um, like big sister syndrome. So Jaden is the oldest. Yeah. And so it's like, if you're the oldest sibling, specifically like sister though, you're kind of like junior mom. Damn. Mainly because you can, and you probably have been forced to without, through very specific language. And it's like, that's an unhealthy amount. Have you seen Encanto? Yeah. Encanto. Yeah, that song where she's singing about like the- holding up the whole family yeah. and shit. Yeah. Literally like, it's like that. It shouldn't be like that, but that's just the dynamic that like is is accepted. But people just need less work in general. Yeah. People need to work less. I'm glad I heard you say that because as an older sibling, like I think yeah, I like I felt like mom mm-hmm. 2.0 in that and I take that energy and I pour it into everything else that I do. Like I show up mm-hmm. as like parent 2.0 to my workplace. And yeah, I don't yeah. Just like Damn. Do you ever find yourself just fully taking on responsibilities that you just don't have to? Like you just don't have to. You don't have to take on the responsibilities of everyone else around you just because you can. Do you want to? I feel like the answer is no. I don't. You ever been in like in a meeting and you're just brainstorming? Love a brainstorm. Oh, management loves a brainstorm. Let's uh, let's throw some ideas out there. Let's throw some ideas around there. Let's, looping you in for the brainstorm. Loop, loop a hoe in. (laughs) 
just you're having this brainstorm meeting and oh, then at the no. end of this like 25 minute meeting you have like six new things to do and yeah. you're like wait a minute yeah. i thought we was storming brains brainstorm yeah how did that turn into actionable items for me but everyone else <laughs> walked away feeling y'all good lunch. y'all chilling though i'm taking from this to take less responsibility mm-hmm. i'm taking from this to not fuck on some coworkers. Or bosses. Or coworkers in general. I just feel like there's too many human beings to be like fucking around the people that you work with. It's kind of like enticing though when you think about it. Okay. Tell me more. <laughs> like like the idea of having a coworker that you have like a flirty relationship with. Like how people have like like, oh that's my work husband, that's my work wife, and all yes. that shit. Yeah. Yes. And like y'all turn up during like the Christmas party and maybe like a butt gets touched or something. But like it doesn't really go go anywhere. That's, there's something that's about enticing. that. Yeah. There's something about that that I don't mind. Final question from me to you: Will you work your whole life? Will there be, ever be a time? Oh, absolutely not. Not? Yeah. No. When will there ever be a time when you're like, okay, I'm 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 done just doing this? Maybe I'm done doing. Like, I will probably feel like that tomorrow. Like I I'm <laughs> like I I go back. This and is the end of super time, like, and then we're done. <laughs> like dead ass. Like if you never see us ever again. Maybe that bitch got to us. I don't know. <laughs> but like, most likely we just. Wait, but really though, are you? Are you? Is um, there a set like? Is it like why the time I hit my like fifties? I'm just I... gonna. I'm gonna ride this out for the for as long as I feel like I should. Okay. And then I'm done. Okay. Cause I like I want to live a very comfortable life. Mm. But like now. Yeah. Like I don't want to wait, and so it's like I'm gonna do what I can now, make my money now, put some shit away. And hopefully by the time I'm like 50, 40, I don't know, mm-hmm. I'm going to be doing way less. But I'm always going to do something. Okay. I think I will always do something. How about will you? you always call it work? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Uh, I, I feel the same way. I feel like uh, also I just realized we should do rest. We should do the yeah. word rest on my channel. So mm-hmm. if you're watching this, then head on over to Arrow's channel. I'm you already know what this is. You, you know, know how to do this. You get this. Are we are we going to Indonesia? <laughs> is that what I okay? Roll the clip. Hey. The Patreon babies get it first. The Patreon babies get the exclusives. Yeah. The Patreon babies get this work. Ooh, I liked that. Not the kind of fucking on work, but they be getting, they be getting that stuff. They be seeing the shit. I liked all of that. Same members, y'all know where to find us. And there's vlogs now. I got vlogs coming out. So. Okay. Big work. Big vlogs. Big content. Give us the big bucks. Absolutely. Yes. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>